For a moment, please think about someone that you believe is high potential. Now that everyone has someone in mind, I wonder if anyone is thinking of someone that is or has been homeless. Likely the answer is no. And why is that? Because as a society, we don't think of these three words, high potential homeless, as going together. No, in fact, we think of them as very distinct, belonging in two separate groups. When we think of high potential, we think of people like each of you in the theater. And when we think of homeless, we stereotypically think that every homeless person is like this man in Washington, D.C. that was just outside my hotel room. Now, like you, when I think of high potential, I think of my friends, who are CEOs, pastors, professors, consultants, musicians. But unlike you, when I think of high potential, I also think of my friends who are and have been homeless. Can you pick out the pictures of my homeless friends? Today, you will see homelessness differently than you have before. Currently, I'm the only person in the world tweeting about hashtag high potential homeless. <laughs> but today, starting right now, we can change that. We can begin to see the world differently. How did I come to have an understanding that there are high potential homeless people? In 2015, I had an experience that led me to think about what would the world look like if more people did random acts of compassion for forgotten people? Now, I wasn't talking about pay it forward at Starbucks, where privileged people are doing something nice for other privileged people. No. <laughs> you got what I meant. That's nice. <laughs> Didn't even have to repeat it. No, what I was talking about is having people do something kind for disadvantaged, down-on-their-luck people. And those thoughts led me to this idea that I was calling lunch with a stranger. And so I recruited a friend of mine for help. And so I excitedly told Lee my, my idea. And he looked at me and he said, I don't think you and I should just pick up strangers in downtown Canton and take them to lunch. <laughs> okay, I smiled, agreed, that's why you surround yourself by smart people. <laughs> he said, why don't we get in touch with the Refuge of Hope Men's Shelter there and have them select the people that we take to lunch. And so that's what we did. And we launched our Lunch With Initiative, uh, our Lunch With a Stranger initiative. However, quickly after interacting with some of the guys, I realized that they were interesting. They were fun to be with. And you know, in many ways, not that much different than we were. I also felt that they were worth more to society than nine or $10 an hour. Those thoughts led me to think about, what if we built an alternative path based on the foundation of social entrepreneurship and micro-lending that our high potential homeless friends could take to start businesses and to transform their lives? I began to question people and ask, is it possible that if Paul or Paula are homeless, that they might be better off with a pickup truck and a paintbrush trying to build a painting business as opposed to trying to get a job? Those thoughts, a little research, and a small group of amazing volunteers 
led to the creation in October 2015 of Better Future Facilitators, a 501c3 nonprofit organization that is focused on enabling high potential homeless people to start businesses and become social entrepreneurs. Social entrepreneurs are not just solely focused on wealth creation like traditional entrepreneurs, but are additionally focused on helping to solve a societal problem. How do we do what we do? Our operating model starts with a referral from one of our collaborative shelter partners. The selection process that the candidates go through is thorough and lengthy and typically takes three to four months to complete. Candidates that are selected for our program are enrolled into our New Hope Business School. The New Hope Business School is a six-month experiential-based learning program that consists of classroom learning, field learning, independent study. Students learn from business professionals, business owners. They're learning technical skills, business management skills, all while developing their individual business plans. In order to graduate, students have to make a business plan presentation to the Better Future Facilitators Loan Committee. Graduates receive a 0% interest loan for the capital required to launch their business. As the graduates repay their loans, the money is returned to the revolving loan fund so that we can continue to repeat the cycle. Why is Better Future Facilitators an idea worth spreading? Why is it an idea worth scaling? Well, from a financial standpoint, it's the smart thing to do. Currently, society, depending on geographic area, is spending $40,000 a year per homeless person. The Better Future program is less than half of that and a one-time investment. From a humanitarian standpoint, it's the right thing to do. Now, is the Better Future Facilitators program a panacea solution that will solve the homeless crisis? Of course not. But it is like the story of the starfish that goes like this. A man was walking down the beach in the distance, he saw a young boy. As he got closer, he asked the boy, what are you doing? The little boy excitedly said, because of the low tide, if I don't throw these starfish back into the ocean, they will die. The man looked at him and said, there are miles and miles of, of beaches. There are hundreds and hundreds of starfish. You can't possibly make a difference. After listening politely, the little boy bent down, picked up another starfish, and threw the starfish into the ocean, and then looked up at the man and said, I made a difference to that one. Today, please begin to be like the little boy. Go out and find disadvantaged starfish and see them in a different way than you ever have before. Be inspired to make a difference to as many as you can. If we all make a difference, then one day we will all have a better future. Thank you.